Okay, so like I told you yesterday, I got these. <clears throat> I don't know how reliable they are. But anyways, yesterday, I was in the negative zone. Today, I had a small amount, so up to 15, I guess. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, it said it could take up to, well, two to seven days for your body to actually start responding. So it does make me feel a little bit better that, um, you know, it actually changed to a color today because, um, if I'm going to be eating butter and bacon, something better be happening and not gaining weight. But I am tracking, like I said, I am tracking on MFP and my Weight Watchers app to make sure that I'm not like going way crazy over or anything. And if I do go over on my daily points, I'm obviously using my weeklies. Um, and when I start, if I start going over my weeklies, I'll be concerned. But so far, um, I'm doing okay. Hi guys, so I read, and you know, there's probably conflicting info, and you're not gonna be able to see me here in a second because there's gonna be a break in the trees. Um, actually, it's not bad. So I read that it's best when you're trying to get into ketosis to exercise while you're fasting or whatever, which I usually do do that, but I, sometimes I have like a snack in the car, but I didn't really have any snacks I wanted to bring in the car, so I'm going to do this, and by the time I get done, it's going to be like 10 o'clock, so I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to fit everything in, because I have to go home after that, take something to the post office. So I might, when I go back home, I might just grab a baby bell cheese because that's on my list of things to um, eat today. Oh, and maybe get some coffee. And then um, go to the post office and then go to the, um, to Fred Meyers and grab the stuff that I need. And then come back and make breakfast. So it's gonna be like 11 o'clock by the time I have breakfast and it takes a minute to cook. I don't know, we'll see. All right, talk to you guys again. Yeah, we're here again in our favorite spot, obviously. Uh, there's the wheel boat. you can hear me over the water. I've been debating whether to join a gym. We don't have a lot of choices. So we have Gold's Gym, a local one that has a pool. I've been to that one, but it's kind of old. Um, and then like a 24 hour fitness. We don't have a fitness planet. But I don't like the 24 hour fitness because honestly it really isn't 24 hours. And, um, like, there's no tinting on the windows, so anybody that goes by and is in a shopping complex can look in. I just don't like that. Um, and I don't know. I just really don't know what I want to do. I would love to join a gym with a pool, but, um, Gold's Gym will not quote you a price until you actually go in and have, like, a consultation. And I hate that because I just want to get a general idea whether I can afford it or not. Um, the other one is closer to where we live. I could actually probably walk there, but I'd have to go across the highway. And as much as there's crosswalks, I don't know, because people drive like maniacs. Um, because we're getting into the fall weather and I don't know what I'm going to do because I can't imagine myself out here walking in the freezing cold. So... I don't know. It's something to um, think about, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to bite the bullet and go and do the um, consultation for the Gold's Gym. And um, 
I know if I call CBRC, which is the other gym, they'll tell me a price. So, I don't know. Anyways, that was a thought for the day, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go walk back to the car now. This is where Lulu gets, to, gets her drink and fights with the water and all that kind of fun stuff. Alright, so I will show you next time you see me, I will be either eating something or drinking something or both. All right, okay, so you. this is my snack. I have two stalks of celery, two tablespoons of cream cheese, and a original Baby Bell. The original Baby Bell is three smart points. The cream cheese in here is two. Um, I'm going to take them apart. I just unexpectedly got called to my mom's house, so I am kind of in a thing. And then I also have in this mug um, 12 ounces of coffee, um, 3 tablespoons of the sugar-free pumpkin spice international delight. Um, it is a carb less per tablespoon than the coffee mate, which kind of stinks since I just bought two new coffee mate um, creamers. And I don't think my husband will drink it, but anyway, um, so that is what's in there. It is either one or two smart points. I entered it in. I can't, I don't remember, but this is what I'm going to have. I decided not to have my breakfast yet. It is 10, 15 and I just don't have time. So, and I, if I'm going to have like my favorite omelet of all time, which is the mushroom and cheese omelet that I'm gonna make I want to sit down and I want to enjoy it so and it takes a minute because I have to make the bacon because I didn't do the prep and whatnot and um, which I may just have to end up doing I just hate all the grease everywhere but um, I might do that anyway so that's what I'm having right now and I will talk to you guys later okay so it is one o'clock and I am just now having breakfast. I did have the celery. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I had the celery and the cream cheese and the baby bell cheese. Okay, so what was supposed to be breakfast, which is now lunch, past lunch, is two strips of bacon, two eggs, one ounce of pepper jack, and some mushrooms. Um, eggs are two points apiece, so that's four. The cheese, I think, was probably four. The bacon was four or three. I don't remember, but I, I will, at the end of my vlog today, I will post um, my Weight Watchers diary entries and MFP. Okay, I've probably shared with you guys before, and I wanted to share with you guys again. This is like my favorite coffee. It's vanilla cream puff. It is so good. And like if you use even like the um, sweet Italian cream, it is so good. Um, I love it. Anyways, I just figured I would share that. I've been getting the, the Hawaiian coffee, the Kona or something, just because I like the K-Cups because they have a filter on the bottom. But they were not on sale and these were again and I just, I cannot even tell you, I love this K-Cup. And I think it will be good with the pumpkin spice. <clears throat> so, anyways, I just thought I would share that. Oh, and I'm also going to have, I think before I leave, I'm going to have three strawberries. Because you can have berries on the keto thing. And like, oh well, I'm going to have to turn you around and maybe talk to you later about the whole um, keto confusion. Okay, so I figured I'd film this now since I have a few minutes before kids start filtering into the house um <clears throat> so i don't want to label it as um me doing a keto diet or anything i am just i'm using the same concepts it's just i don't sorry i don't want to label it because i don't want the keto police after me because i'm not doing this or i'm not doing that right i'm doing what is what i'm hoping is right to reset my metabolism and my um weight loss because it really has stalled lately and i am so close to the 100s that it's not even funny and it's driving me a little crazy and i figure if i can try the vegan thing for 
what, two months or something like that. This is not any more unhealthy, at least the way I'm doing it, or at least the way I feel about it. It's not as un unhealthy. Um, so I'm trying it for a week or two, possibly a month if it works, and um, get to where I want to be and then go back to my normal way of eating, which is just eating within my um, smart points. But my smart points are at 30 and I am kind of piggybacking my, well I am piggybacking my um, tracking with Weight Watchers and MFP just to see where my macros are and everything. And I'm still coming within either 27 or 30 smart points a day. So I'm not like going crazy over my points or anything either. So, um, it is what it is, I guess. But again, I just, I don't want to label it. Um, I'm just going to experiment and see if it works. And if it works, then I'll keep with it for a week or two. And, um, <sighs> yep. The whole reason for the, um, ketone strips is just because I would like to know that if I'm sitting here eating butter and bacon and it's not like I'm eating insane amounts I'm eating a tablespoon or an ounce of cheese with a meal um, and two slices of bacon which isn't any normal any different because in fact I used to eat four slices of bacon on my BLTs in the summer when the tomatoes were in season plus bread so that's not anything unusual um, and I will not eat anything that I'm uncomfortable with eating because, again, like I said, with protein and meat sometimes, it just doesn't work for me. So I have incorporated my vegetarian stuff into my plan of what I'm trying to do. And again, it's just my plan. It's not anything else. I'm just trying to take little pieces from other people's successes, I guess, and incorporate incorporate them into mine to make myself self successful to lose a little bit more weight where I'm trying to get to. Because again, I still have like 50 pounds to lose, but I would really love to be in Wonderland soon. So. That is hopefully enough explanation as to what I'm doing. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them below. All right, so this is dinner. This is a griller patty, green beans, baby bell. There is one tablespoon of um, Kerrygold between this and I put a little bit on top of the Morning Star griller, which is three. Kerrygold butter is five. Green beans zero, baby bell three. And like I said, I will show you my macros at the end of the day. Okay, so due to my weird eating habits today and not being able to get certain foods in, I only ended the day with like 900 calories and so I had to add stuff. So I added another coffee right here. Um, smart points wise, it is one smart point. Um, calorie wise, it's like 100 and 120 or no two four six sixty sixty calories and three carbs but anyways <clears throat> again I will post that part at the end of this um, and I also added a serving of almonds for 170 calories and it's five smart points and that is my day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow have a great night